So today we're looking at this Cub Cadet LT 42 inch XT1 Enduro Series Lawn Tractor. This one has the IntelliPower system on it. And that sign there says and gives you up to 20% more available power resulting in less bogging down. Well, what is that all about? Well, if you take a close look at the dashboard over here. You'll see there's no throttle or choke. What there is, is this dial. So it says idle here, and that's transport. And you just dial it up to where it says cut, or if you're in heavy stuff, you dial it up to heavier cut. And as you, as you turn that dial, the uh, RPMs of the engine get faster and faster. And how that works is they got this electronic gizmo mounted here. And uh, my understanding is that controls some solenoids on the top of the carburetor that open and close and increase the uh, speed or decrease the speed accordingly. Well, the reason this thing is in my shop because I got contacted by the manager of my local tractor supply. She told me this lawn tractor has been sitting in their back room longer than she's been there as a manager, and she's going on three years. Nobody seems to know what was wrong with it. So would I be happy to take a look? And sure, I'd be happy to take a look. This is first IntelliPower lawnmower I've ever laid eyes on, and I was a little concerned when I saw that engine. But... The factory battery that came with it is dead, and right now I got my jumper pack on there to provide power. And let's just put the knob in the middle. Uh, this is how you kind of control the throttle on these IntelliPower systems. But here's what I found out. I, I just suspected it wasn't getting any gas, because if I put starter fluid inside the uh, carburetor through the air filter here, it would actually fire that way. But this is a fuel shutoff solenoid, and I took that off and I tested it, and it's good. But I wasn't hearing it click when I would turn the key like normal. So I'm coming over here, I'm looking at these wires, and this little black doohickey right here was strapped to these wires. And then every time I just wiggle it, I'd hear it clicking and clacking. And I'm like, what is the deal there? So I just took this tie, cable tie that was um, on. I took that off. And so I've got this clear. Looks like it's kind of tied, held together with black tape or something. I don't know. But if I turn the key on. Okay. And I wiggle it back and forth. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, that's clicking. Something's clicking over here. Something moved. You can hear it. I can. I can feel it. And it's there's buzzing coming from this module over here. So there's something in here that's not right. You can hear it clicking again. See, in one position it will not open up the fuel solenoid, in the other it will. So. Something not quite right in here. See, I want to twist it. All right, I'm going to have to open that up and find out what's going on. What is this thing? Is it down? All right, that's definitely the problem. <laughs> so let's take that apart and see what's going on. Quick. So what I found out was that these two white wires right here they were loose 
And this entire time this lawn tractor has been sitting for years not running, it's just because of those loose wires. Those wires, when I press them back into place, and I've since made sure they won't come out, that allowed that anti-backfire solenoid on the carburetor to open and close the way it should. So, that being said, if we just turn the key, oh, I don't have the parking brake set. Let me do that. <laughs> Not sitting on the seat. So let's set the parking brake. And turn the key. So there it is. I can get it back to tractor supply. Don't know what they're going to do with it. Three-year-old tractor that's never been used. Is there a model number or something here? Oh, sure. Well, there it is. Date of manufacture, 2020. There's a model number for you if you need it. So, anyway, that was a new, new experience for me. Oh, by the way, I had to get a new battery for it. The battery was dead. And I did go to Tractor Supply and buy it from them, so I will give them a bill to get my money back. So, anyway, there it is. One Cub Cadet with a minor electrical issue. Aren't those a bugger? All right, let's take a look at the, uh, the tag under the hood for... Well, that's pretty, pretty tiny writing. Hopefully you can see that. Belt routing, part numbers. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.